This month, we're comparing three guitar leads in terms of their durability. A budget lead, a mid-priced one, and a more expensive premium cable. We're not exactly being scientific in our testing procedures. Indeed, our premium cable is longer than the other two, so we can expect a slightly different sound from that particular lead. However, if durability and reliability are important factors in your choice of guitar lead, then keep watching. Our first test is a pure reference sound test. We need to know how our leads sound before we start testing them properly. We're playing through our Vox AC15 amp. The tone and volume controls on both guitar and amp are set the same throughout, so the only variable is the cables. Before we reveal which cable is which, see if you can hear a difference. In order then, those were the mid-price cable, followed by the budget cable, and finally the premium cable. To our ears, the budget and mid-price cable sounded almost the same, but the premium cable had slightly less treble than the other two. Now, do remember our premium cable is longer than the other two, and capacitance affects tone on longer cable runs. What this does mean is that you don't necessarily have to rule out using a budget or mid-price cable on pure sonic terms. Now, we know what you're thinking, what has this done to the scoreboard? Well, we'd call it equal. With three points up for grabs, we're giving one point to each cable. With the premium cable so much longer, we think that's fair. This is also a sound test of sorts. We want to know which of our three cables, if any, picks up the most noise from a ringing phone. We've set up a phone next to our cables, one at a time, and we're recording the noise generated when the phone rings. The mid-priced cable had some general background noise, followed by a peak as the phone rang. The premium cable was quieter in terms of background noise, but louder when the phone rang, probably due to the longer cable acting as a more efficient antenna. Finally, amazingly, the budget cable not only picked up signal noise, it also acted microphonically, picking up the vibration and ringtone of the phone. This cable can literally transfer the sound of you touching it to your amplifier. Not good. 
So again, with three points up for grabs, we've given one and a half to both the mid-price and premium cables. No points for the budget cable though. Cables have magical abilities to tie themselves in knots as soon as you turn your back. So simulating a busy stage or rehearsal room, we wanted to know if our three leads would survive being knotted and pulled tight. We've knotted each cable gently. All that remains is to pull each one tight. The budget cable seems to have survived with no problems at all. The mid-price cable is also fine. And perhaps unsurprisingly then, the premium cable is also undamaged. Notting did nothing to any of our cables, so we'll allocate those three points equally. That's one point each. Let's face it, most gigs take place in bars, pubs, clubs and at parties. Thinking that spilled beer could pose a serious risk to your gear, we thought we should test our cables to see which is the most beer proof. All we need is a bucket and some of the finest lager money can buy for two pounds. And don't try this at home, by the way. It could be dangerous. To be on the safe side, we've given our cables a couple of minutes to dry out before we plug them into our amp. The budget cable seems to be fine. price cable also seems fine. And finally, the premium cable is fine. It does seem that beer will have no lasting effect on your cables. So, with no damage done in the beer test, once again with three points to award, each cable gets one point. Right, this is where things get serious. It's time to see how the jack plugs on our cables survive the impact of the blunt end of a rather heavy axe. Here's our setup. Each cable is fastened in place with a staple before we drop the weight on the same part of each plug. We think this may just separate the men from the boys. So the budget cable has taken some damage and split slightly, but it is still working. This is still totally playable. The damage looks pretty bad on the mid-price cable. And as you can hear, there is some damage. The treble frequencies are lost. Impressively, there's only superficial damage on the metal plug. There's just a scratch. As you can hear, sonically, the premium cable is still working fine. Three points to be divided among three cables then. With audible damage, the mid-price cable comes in last with half a point. The budget cable still sounds okay, but the split plug casing means it won't take another hit. So one point. The premium cable then, with minor damage, takes one and a half points. Now we're going to see how our cables stand up to me, Total Guitars Music Editor. More specifically, whether or not I can snap the cables by wrapping them around a metal bar and pulling as hard as I can. We're doing this in the garden, on soft soil, so that the metal bar doesn't cut into the cables. No surprises here then. A split cable means no signal, and the budget cable crashes out of our test. Also, no sound from the mid-priced cable, so this one's out too. 
In truth, I felt the internal wires snap during the test, even though the sheath was stretchy enough to hold its shape. The premium cable remains unharmed. We suspect that the internal copper braiding makes this kind of cable pretty much unsnappable, certainly under normal use. I couldn't feel it stretch at all. I don't think I even damaged it. No points for the budget cable then. That was just way too easy to snap. A creditable one point for the mid-priced cable though. It took a lot more force to damage it. And two points for the impressive premium lead. Only one cable has made it through to our final test then. Yes, it's the impressive premium cable. And to round off our test, we're going to expose it to the extreme heat of a 500 watt halogen work light. Stage lights generate huge amounts of heat. You only need to lay your cable over a floor mounted lamp for a couple of minutes and you can expect to see smoke. We've set up our lamp outside in case of fire. Let's see how the last cable in the contest handles the heat. So our cable is fairly well melted, all that remains is to see if it still works. And it's playing fine. Despite the beating it's taken today, the premium lead is still working as it did before we started testing. Here are the final scores. With only one cable left in the contest, there's only one point to award. We were impressed that our premium cable still worked after this to be honest. Rounding up the scores, it seems that you get what you pay for, with budget leads being more fragile and prone to noise. A good premium lead is almost unbreakable, but certainly for home use there's a lot to be said for mid-priced and budget leads too.